Hello, welcome back. So obviously the first step is to measure out and tear all of the paper, getting down to uh, five and a half by eight. Of course, after I printed everything, I discovered it should have been five and a half by eight and a half, but so it goes. As soon as that's done, we can get into the process of starting the print. So enjoy the next piece. Thank you guys. Hello and welcome back. Glad you're here. So now all the paper is cut, torn to be accurate. It's time to start the fun printing process. Block is here, you saw that get carved. And now rolling out some ink. This is one of those auditory things where when you listen to the sound of the ink, you know you've got the right amount, and then we're just gonna simply roll it onto the block. Of course, making sure to get it completely covered. Grab a piece of paper and lay it on. Now the length of the paper is about identical to the length of the block. A little piece of paper to protect these felt mats from getting ink on them. Obviously not everybody does that. And then it's through the press. Now I've already taken the time to adjust the depth. slide to where it connects and then roll it through let it come up the other side and I realize I'm off camera so you get to see the you get to see it when it comes back the other way but there is the first print Onto the rack and away we go. I'll let you see it roll back through when I do it the next time. <laughs> this is all off camera, isn't it? Oh well. So I'm just doing exactly what you saw again. Laying the paper, the felt back out. And then back we come the other way. Unfold the Christmas present and reveal the print. So that's what we get. And now we just do it over and over and over again. Oh, look at that beautiful cropping. Didn't I do a great job, guys? So there. Now what we'll do is just repeat this over and over. So I'm going to go ahead and go to... Um, time lapse and let you just enjoy the process for a while. All right, we're going to try again. I think I might dump the first shot at this. So this is the view. Etching press back here. There are, you can't quite see the adjustments, but I've adjusted the depth of it to get a nice clean print. Uh, I have pulled a printer too, so you can see that this already has ink on it. Well, it has had some ink, but I need to re-ink. Every time you pull a, run it through the press, you have to put more ink on. You obviously want to make sure you get a nice even distribution. And that's exactly why I put paper underneath so I don't get it on these nice uh, printing felts. 
these are the sheets of paper you saw me um, tear. The plan is, hopefully I succeeded in doing a voiceover of that part. The studio monitor was in here earlier. And I didn't really want to... Oh, well. While I love watching, having you all watch what I do and sharing my process, I'm a little self-conscious about actually shooting the videos. So now that's all wrapped up, paper is positioned, everything's clean, so there'll be no ink transfer. And then we simply roll the piece away. And again, I'll drop off of camera as this rolls to the other side. Fold the foil back again, and the paper. Reveal the print. These prints are really coming out nicely. So that's the piece. And we just keep doing this uh, hopefully 150 times. So I'm going to switch over now to the um, time lapse. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to let you just squirt out a little more ink because the um, how I know there's enough ink on here, I kind of listen to it. I've got the camera a little closer this time. So can you hear that sticky floor sound? So that's the exact sound texture that I'm looking for. So if you're not going to do it, block a bit. Sorry, you can't see this process from that angle, but conversely, you'll get to see the real this next time. So grab the pre-torn piece of paper, make sure there's just one, position it. The rustling you hear is the paper going back over in the felt start saying the press back. Now I know you can see that. So the press comes back. I'm giving it a little push but cranking to make sure I get the actual pressure and nothing um, nothing bumps and shifts because obviously if the paper shifts you're going to get a smeared print. So fold it back and then we get the lovely reveal. So there's the piece. I'm really happy with this one. I hope you all enjoy it. So um, I had said this earlier, but with this video too, um, comment, give a follow. But if you give a comment, you'll be one of hopefully five who will get this sent to you once I get your address from you. And uh, so I hope you give a comment, leave a comment. Of course, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And um, because these are Christmas cards, in a way, um, I hope you will uh, comment before, say, the 20th. For those in the States, I would be able to get it mailed to you before Christmas. So, and you can see the rest of my art on at my website, gregleach.com. And when you go there, you'll discover that everything is color. This is about the only black and white thing I ever do. And I think we figured out I've been doing this Christmas card, or a Christmas card, different absolutely every year. Usually tied into, and I know I've said this on the previous video, tied into something going on in our lives and in the world. This piece, I don't know if you've noticed, the symbol for women encasing the world and the two angels refer to my two granddaughters and without getting too political women are very much under attack in this current legislative environment and so I really wanted to champion women and that fact this image sort of deals with women make the world go round so now here we go back again for the next print. 
So breaking it through, get to the plate on the other side, along. And uh, I'll switch over to time lapse and you get to watch the whole process. So I thought I'd try another angle. So you can see cranking the piece through. Sliding the plate all the way over. And then, in essence, unwrapping the Christmas present. Pulling the foil, the felt back. And the paperback and then peeling the paper off the block. I just love doing that. So satisfied. And there's the piece. I'll take it over and put it on the drying rack and just keep going. And uh, I'll spare you the constant watching. Sorry about that. That one didn't go as planned. But I thought I'd give you a close-up view. Rolling this out. And to remind you again to give me a follow, a thumbs up. And if you want to be one of those who gets to win a print, make sure you comment on this subscribe if you're not already a subscriber oh, this is really bad camera work isn't it and uh, be sure to check out all of my artwork at gregleach.com and my cycling art is at theartofcycling.blogspot.com now, where I'm working is called the Visual Arts Center. And unfortunately, they've just let me know they want to go home. So I'm not going to quite finish tonight. So, here's your quick reveal again for the piece. And right now, I've printed, what is that, 125, 128 in just over three hours, but I got a few more to print. So again, thank you all for taking the time to watch. I'm going to come back here in a day or two and finish this process, but this is where the video is finished. Thank you all.